in the vast cosmic stage where comets and asteroids drift through the solar system as silent messengers of time, the interstellar visitor Free Eye Atlas arrived like a wild card. Its behaviours have ignited speculation that we may be looking not at a mere comet, but perhaps the deliberate passage of something artificial, something controlled. This object hurtled into our solar system at a speed and at an angle that set it apart. It follows an extremely hyperbolic orbit and this means it is unbound and destined to leave our solar system. And at one point, it looked like it was slowing down to observe the planets. Yet, the smoking gun has only just occurred. As Free Eye Atlas reached perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, the JPL observed something extraordinary. The published analysis by the JPL shows measurable accelerations that diverge from those expected under gravity alone, solar gravity alone. Free Eye Atlas did not simply follow the Sun's pull at perihelion, it seemed to push itself away and slightly sideways. And this, this is a jaw-dropping moment. Mainstream astronomy will tell you that for a comet, the unusual explanation is outgassing, jets of sublimated gas acting like thrusters. But the scale here implies if outgassing were responsible, a mass loss so extreme it might have destroyed the object or left gigantic observable plumes. And instead, this non-gravitational acceleration, this, this may be the technological signature of an internal engine. And of course, if this is true, it is profound. This suggests an internal propulsion system, i.e. intelligent control. And all of these anomalies just keep piling up. Free Eye Atlas behaved uncommonly bright as it approached the sun far brighter than typical comets at comparable distances. According to observations from Stereo, Soho and GOES-19 instruments, its brightness scaled with solar distance to the power of about 75 plus 1, a steeper rise than the norm. And there's also the colour puzzle. Instead of reddening, Free Eye Atlas appeared bluer than the sun at perihelion. And this is very surprising. The blue hue could be explained if there were ionised carbon monoxide or an uncommonly hot surface or if it had an engine. Imagine this. A spaceship has emerged from interstellar space, lighting up as it approaches the sun, turning a weird blue colour, then making a slight sidestep. The tantalising question is... Is it glowing because of solar heating, or because of an internal power source? And this object also exhibited what's called an antitail, a jet or a stream of particles that points towards the sun, rather than away from it, which is akin to an interstellar braking manoeuvre. And additionally, this object's path came relatively close to Mars, and will pass near Venus, on November the 3rd, and Jupiter next year on March the 16th, as if it may somehow be gathering data on the inner solar system planets. For a natural interstellar visitor to arrange so many near planet flybys and to show unusual tail geometry is improbable, again suggesting potential planning or intelligence behind this route. If this object does have an internal engine or a thruster. The non-gravitational acceleration, the blue glow and its unusual path could all fit. The idea, the why could be reconnaissance, sampling or survey, intelligence observing our solar system undercover. I mean it was, it was as though this object sensed the sun's heat, glowed blue, then deliberately blacked off and sidestepped. A manoeuvre that no natural comet has performed ever before. We don't know that this is artificial, but the possibility is now on the table in a way that no prior object has allowed. Our strengths lie not in this definitive proof, 
But in questioning what we thought we knew and what we might still discover. <laughs>